Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. What is this? May 17th? Just shy of a week ago, the Bitcoin halving occurred. In case you're unaware, the Bitcoin halving is this event that occurs every 210,000 blocks. Refer to my other videos to get educated on what a block is, but every 200,000, 210,000 blocks, the amount of new Bitcoin that are released gets cut in half. So uh, prior to last week, every 10 minutes, we would have 1,800, I'm sorry, every 10 minutes, we would have 12 and a half new Bitcoin generated. As of a certain point on Tuesday of last week, that number was cut down to six and a quarter, 6.25. Did you notice anything? Any, any big shakes, any big occurrences? Probably not. Nothing earth shattering happened on the Bitcoin blockchain itself. In fact, uh, I think most people would say that um, you know, typically, historically, there is a, there's a sell off people tend to sell their Bitcoin right after the halving. This year, we noticed that there was a pre-halving sell-off. But as the halving occurred, very steady, in fact. The same is true for all of the top currencies. Very steady from a price standpoint. We think that is a testament to the amount of infrastructure that has been built up since the last halving. A lot more ability to get into Bitcoin, a lot more structure, a lot more stability, if you will. Interestingly enough, you may have missed some pretty significant significant ha happenings in the world of regular finance. One example of this is the fact that JP Morgan historically outwardly anyway, historically anti-cryptocurrency They've been okay with blockchain, but anti-cryptocurrency. In fact, if you weren't aware, um, JP Morgan's CEO in 2017 referred to Bitcoin as a fraud, indicated that he would fire anyone under his employ that he found or caught trading it. Ironically, the weekend of that statement in 2017, it was discovered that JP Morgan was one of the biggest buyers over a weekend of Bitcoin. So do what they do, not what they say. But anyway, JP Morgan became yeah, became a servicer, provider for the two biggest cryptocurrency exchanges in the world, um, Coinbase and Gemini. I guess I, I guess they're the two biggest in the United States. I should probably reduce that statement somewhat. But yes, this camera is not cooperating with me. Yeah, things are getting interesting. 
so my plea to those of you who watch these videos is to continue to educate yourself. The world of finance is changing right before your very eyes and change has come to these markets historically it's just that the vast majority of us have not been prepared have not even been aware of how to get the education associated with these changes the internet changes that. The information is freely available. You've just got to make an effort to go get it. YouTube is a decent platform for filling in those gaps. But the web at large, if you're willing to make the effort to look for what's happening, will provide you with all you need to know. Take some time away from Netflix and Hulu and any of the other entertainment facilities. Take some time to get educated. It's incredibly important. Take care. Prepare. You will see me in the next one.